All right, we're back here with Vince, and Vince is now in the next stage, which is 18 to 22 weeks, and he's doing really well. His range has improved greatly, so Vince, do you want to show us your range? He can now go all the way up. Now, you're probably guessing which shoulder is. It's his right, is the surgery, but he's had the same or similar operation on his left. So his left one, he did ages ago, and he's got a really good range with that. But this is the sort of range you should be getting around that 18 to 22 week mark. It's basically full range. He's lost a little bit, like there's about 10 degrees. He's missing a little bit there, but it's pretty good. And his scapular human rhythm is great as well. So we are now just focusing on strengthening work and loading and trying to be safe and get his pattern of movement under load a little bit better. So this week is getting the pressing work right. So the best way, he's doing push-ups, okay, but light on his knees. Uh, to get the movement on one arm, we do it on the wall. So come over here, Vince, let's have a look. So when you're doing a push-up here, again, we've got to really focus on the mechanics. Now, it's not a scapular press, it's actually the scapular press part and then the push-up. So he needs to retract his shoulder blade fully and then go into a push-up. If you come around and have a look at this, what I want to make sure of is when he comes down into the press, so he's scapular tracks there, and then from there, he bends that way. But this has got to be on a 45 degree angle, and he's got to be careful that he doesn't sort of rotate in. It's very easy to drop in. And then when he presses out, you see he's gone into full protraction there, which is helping his serratus anterior, keeps him nice and flat, stops his wing. So he retracts back there push and then push and making sure it goes forward just like a normal press up all right so retracting back and don't get me wrong this is you know this is load here it's also load here all I've got to make sure of I don't want them out here and coming out here because it just mucks up the mechanics here I also don't want them way down here so when he's in this position to create some torque in here he keeps his hand flat but he you know, he screws his hand on the ground so his elbow actually comes upwards so then he's switched on his lateral rotator cuff here, in which he locks in his shoulder, and then he can just focus on his shoulder blade movement here. And then when he loads through the joint, because it's externally rotated, it's in a good position, it's nice and safe. He's not gonna damage it. Um, and again, steps and reds the same, that's about three sets of 10. Okay, so that's good. So that's his pressing work there. Then he's gonna work on open chain. So there's your closed chain press. The open chain press is just simply using a band. Now this will advance to um, using a cable, right? But for the band one, actually I'll get you to do it, how about that? Um, yep. Is doing the same movement. Okay, exactly the same movement, all right? But it's, if you can see, it's open chain. Just go to the left a little bit there, let's go that way. Yep, just get that band out there. So when he's coming back, retraction, there's the movement. So that's the same movement on the wall, right? And then straightening the arm first and then protracting forward. So exactly the same. This just is, because it's open chain, requires a lot more uh, stability mechanics to try and get the movement, a lot of coordination, neuromuscular work. And so it's sort of less load than the wall, but it's harder for the whole system to work. So we try and have it nice and light to start with. As in time, you can start using a cable machine and start loading up the weight to get the pressing movement. But it's, this is just more range of movement and coordination for that movement. So when he does go do something like pressing or boxing in the future, um, he's got this pattern of movement correct. So that's good. So that's all below height. But now, because he's got the range, we now need to strengthen up in here. And we just gotta be careful what we do. We don't get people shoulder pressing with weights. We certainly don't get people bench pressing. But what we can do is a front press with the band. So as he pushes up, instead of a weight, instead of a weight coming down here and load in the shoulder, okay, he's got a progressive weight here. All right. Now the trick is, is getting that scapulohumeral rhythm correct. So as he pushes up, when he gets to the top, his shoulder blade's got to be fully up. As he comes down, that shoulder blade's got to drop down into depression. Then he comes down, and again, it's in that nice 45 degree angle here, where the arm is on an angle. As he comes up. He's got to lift up, drop down as he comes down. So you'll see there's the angle there. So I don't want him, I don't want him out here because that's going to get impingement zone. No point being here, your miles will be in a 45. And as he goes from there to about, just about 80, that stays down. And then when he rises up, then it's got to lift and come up. Yep, 
and then come down. So you're always, every repetition, you're getting those mechanics absolutely perfect, staying away from impingement, and there's this overhead strengthening, okay? You know, if he wants to go harder, he uses a band, then he goes to a cable, then he might go to dumbbells or kettlebells. All right, so that's looking really good. Um, and the last difficult one for Vince is doing this sort of overhead work, but also lat rotation. So what he's gonna do is go from an internally rotated position where he is, like his shoulder is protracted a little bit, and he's gotta retract and then externally rotate and abduct. Now the trick with this is, if you watch from here, the first point, when he lifts up, he retracts down and depresses down, locks that in, then he goes into his lateral rotation position. And again, he's, he's not in too much of an impingement there, but when he comes forward, he's got to hold that back as that goes down, then he can lower it forward, okay? So pulls it back, externally rotates and abducts, and then holds that position. There's the training here. So he's training his depressors and retractors to keep his shoulder stable as his arm goes forward. And that's really important training here. And he's doing his lateral rotation work and his abduction work on the way down as well. And that's it for this week.